guys and welcome back to another video. So today's vid is day 23 of Vlogmas and I'm going to be doing another vid in my quest to college series except it's no longer a quest to college, it's my quest at college because I have been going to college for a whole term now and today's vid I will be talking to you about my first term at college. So firstly the first day of college was really good, I think I did a video about it and it was awesome and amazing and we got our timetables which are the most beautiful things in the history of existence. We're only in Monday to Thursday, we get Friday off. Then Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, lessons start at half 11 and finish at half four. And then Wednesdays, we have what we call directed study, which means our teacher doesn't even come in and we're only there from one till four and we do whatever work we've been given without the teacher there. So we do work, we also play games but it's really fun. So our timetables are amazing because we're not actually in that much. The only downside is obviously I live the furthest away from college in my class, meaning I have the longest bus journey and I obviously have to get the bus into college and this means I still have to get up early in the morning. On the Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays when lessons don't start till half 11, I have to get up at six in the morning, catch my bus at half seven, get into college before nine. And then I've got what, like two hours spare time before my lesson actually starts. And this isn't actually too bad. I do generally enjoy the mornings before college. I have to go in with my friends because they have extra math classes before normal college classes. So I hang out with them for about an hour and then at 10 o'clock they go off to their math class and then I have over an hour by myself. So what do I normally do? I go to the college library sit at a table next to the radiator and I will use this time to do any work I've got to do, homework, catch up work and if I've done all my work I will often write fanfic or just go on my phone on Tumblr or watch a Miraculous Ladybug episode or watch some YouTube and stuff like that. So I do find ways to pass the time. It's just getting up at six in the morning I don't like. Now, one time I was actually late to a lesson. It was my first Thursday at college and I thought there is a bus that goes outside my house at 10 o'clock and so therefore should get into college around quarter past 11, giving me enough time to then walk into college and get to lessons for half 11, meaning I wouldn't have to wake up at six in the morning. So I thought I'd give this a go. The bus is always late and therefore I ended up being late to college. I had to speed walk from the town to the college because the bus is later than the first one. Don't actually stop outside college. And I ended up only being about uh, five minutes late but they had started the lesson luckily it was with a different teacher and they hadn't actually done any dancing yet and they let you off if you just say the bus was late so I was fine but it was very stressful so Wednesdays is obviously slightly different as we don't need to be in at one o'clock for this day I can actually get the bus at 10 so I do get more of a lion in the morning then I get the bus at 10 with some of my other friends. We get off in town. I normally get Burger King for lunch. Then we walk back to college and then me and my friends go to the gym there. So there are all sorts of different units that you do and we've already completed a good deal of them. One of them, which is by far my favorite is Urban. Unfortunately, we have finished it now and I kind of am not as motivated to go into college on Mondays because we would have Urban first thing on a Monday morning and therefore I'd always look forward to Mondays. Urban is my favorite style and I miss it already. I love it so much. Much. and I really wish it was a longer unit and that there were other urban related stuff as well just because I love it so much and I want to keep doing it but no we have to just do contemporary now we have other units physical theatre we're currently looking at a telltale heart and doing stuff on that contemporary technique choreographing and all sorts of different units it covers so much and I've already learned so much at college and we've only been in the first term it's insane one thing that is interesting is for the first like roughly half term we did have the unit of ballet which we did every Thursday morning and this was with a different teacher to our normal one because our normal one doesn't do ballet and we had this teacher come in specifically for it and we got her fired basically she wasn't a very good ballet teacher one of our students ended up getting injured during her lesson because of her poor teaching sometimes when we would dance she would go on her phone not even pay attention to us she actually had incorrect ballet technique take it from the five of us who have been doing ballet for over 10 years 
and everyone in my class absolutely hated her and all of us dreaded ballet. None of us enjoyed it, not even those of us who have been doing ballet since we were young and actually loved the style. So there was obviously something wrong and one lesson, one of our students ended up hurting themselves because she didn't teach something correctly and we had had enough. We complained to our teacher and we literally had a session afterwards. We just sat down at a table and it was like, it was like a conference or something. And we all just ranted about this ballet teacher to our normal teacher and how much we just didn't like her and that sort of thing. And in the end, they looked into it and yeah, they realized she doesn't have the correct technique. And if we're not happy with her, then there's no point us doing ballet with her. And they fired her as a dance teacher at the college. But that means we don't do ballet anymore. Instead, we do this site specific thing, which is again, contemporary and yeah. So we've only been at college for a time, but we've already done so, so many different performances. So the first one we did was a flash mob in the town that the college is in. Now we didn't overly enjoy this specifically because the ballet teacher had choreographed it and it wasn't, it wasn't good choreography. When we actually did the flash mob, I enjoyed it because it was my first ever flash mob and oh my God, doing a flash mob is so fun. And not only that, but the flash mob was actually on my birthday. So that was also exciting. Now there is a video of the flash mob over on my dance channel, Chloe Amber, which I will link at the end of this vid and in the description below. Also on that channel are videos of two of the dances that my college class have already done a contemporary one and an urban one so I would love if you guys could go check it out and just see what I've been doing at college because it's it's fun it's cool so another performance we did which also wasn't enjoyable was at a local secondary school to the college we had to go there do one of the flash mobs and then we also did our urban dance and this would have been fine except it was at a secondary school with secondary school students. They just didn't take it seriously. They found it hilarious anytime one of us made a mistake and we had to then try to teach them some of it and they did it and they just didn't take it seriously. They thought it was hilarious and it was, it was generally upsetting. I also absolutely hated it because it was with a large crowd of people and I don't do large crowd of people, especially judgmental teenagers. So that wasn't very fun. But the other performances we have done are much better. We had to perform at our college's open evening. We literally performed like every half an hour the same two routines for different people coming in to look at the course. And then throughout the evening, we also had to talk to people who were coming in to look at the course. And that was just really fun. And the videos of the contemporary and urban dances on my dance channel are from the open evening performances. So go check those out. So the final performance we did and most recent was for the Christmas light switch on at the town my college is in and this was both amazing and not fun at all. We choreographed a piece specifically for it that was a mixture of different songs. We had a section to Starboy by The Weeknd, we had a section to Team by Nicki Minaj, we had a section to Making Shapes and we also had a section to an awesome dubstep remix of a Christmas song and we absolutely loved the routine. It's by far my favourite one we've done so far. It was urban so of course I loved it and you know we choreographed all the dances ourselves so it was, it was our best routine to date. However, performing it wasn't so fun because it was outside in the evening, it was dark, it was cold, it was also raining and our dances had a lot of floor work and it was really fun but then you go away and we saw that we were covered in bird poo and were all soaking and dirty. It just wasn't a nice experience to be honest but it was definitely the best performances we've done I loved it so much so that's all the performances we did obviously lessons there isn't much to tell you about other than it's lessons our teacher is honestly the most amazing person ever she's so good I love her so much and yeah Wednesdays are obviously a bit more entertaining because our teacher isn't in and as a result we end up playing games we've played hide and seek in the dark and we've played Wink Wink Murder, Ninja, Sleeping Lions. We straight up played Sleeping Lions and we, we do all sorts, but we do still get the work done. So the teacher's okay with it. Something else that is happening, which is also exciting is 
as part of the course we always do an end of year show and at this we perform any dance routines we've got we can also do acting and all sorts of stuff and we have auditions in January for solos so obviously solos you can audition as many different dances as you want you obviously have to choreograph it yourself and I'm going to be auditioning two different solos I haven't finished choreographing either of them I really need to do that but I'm going to be doing an urban dance to 24 karat magic by Bruno Mars which is like I am so excited to do it. The choreography I've got so far I absolutely love and I'm really excited about this routine. And then doing a contemporary dance to Million Eyes by Loic and Tet and I haven't really choreographed this yet. I find choreographing contemporary a lot harder so but I do need to get it done, so yeah, that's the thing. We've also had a few assessments already. These normally involve us just filming ourselves doing dance routines and then sometimes filming us answering questions on certain things. But literally, the assessments are nothing to worry about and that's the only type of exams we're gonna have and they're literally fine we enjoy them so college is great another exciting thing that has happened is we had a workshop with the west end star johnny purchase he is sort of like a secondary teacher he will be coming and teaching us a few more times throughout the year and it's really awesome to have a west end star working with us obviously what he's doing is acting rather than dancing so it puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone because although i absolutely love acting and i'm not too bad at it and i actually want to be an actress when i'm older i just don't like acting in front of my good friends I just get too awkward and shy and embarrassed and stuff so you know but I'm sure I will get better and just get more confidence and it'll be fine but the workshop was really fun and amazing and it, we got to ask him questions about working on the West End and so, and that sort of thing so it was really really awesome. So then the only other thing that is exciting that's happened is we have one-to-ones with our teacher every now and again and I remember the first one I had with her she was like telling it was the first time we got to speak one-on-one -on -one, and she was telling me about what she thought of my dancing and how I was doing and I remember afterwards I actually went to the loo in the college and cried but not for bad reason because I, I just couldn't believe what she said like she seems to be really impressed with my dancing I was just so happy that someone finally believed in me and thought I was a good dancer because at my other dance school I'm always in the shadow of the teacher's favorite student and now I'm finally being noticed and it just it got me in the feels so yeah that happened the other thing is we got our predicted grades for the end of this year way the grading system works is a pass is the lowest you can get and still pass the course then it's a merit then a distinction and then distinction star and because we're doing a level three course we get three grades at the end of the year so you could say get a pass a merit and a merit you could get a distinction a distinction star and a merit he's come up as like so rather than a b c it's p m d d star so although a d and a d star sound like they should be low it's not it's the highest and the highest you can get is a triple d star and then it would be triple d triple m triple p and that sort of thing we all got our predicted grades that the teacher says we're working at at the moment and if we keep it up this is what we'll get at the end of the year my predicted grade is triple D star. My teacher says that I'm working towards getting the highest grade you can possibly get, which is kind of a big deal and I wasn't expecting it and it's just so amazing and I just feel so proud of like how much I've grown this first time at college because my confidence has gotten so much better and it's it's kind of scary because I'm like, hey, I really don't think I'm capable of getting the highest grade possible, but if my teacher thinks I'm gonna get it, then I still can't get my head around it. It's so insane, but it's cool. <laughs> Another thing I will mention is my college class. There's only eight of us in the class and all of us have become besties. Like within the first couple days, we were all best friends. We are literally so close. Obviously some of us are more close than others and stuff like that, but we are such an amazing class. We don't fall out. We don't argue. It's so good. We all love each other so much and it's just so amazing. That is basically my first term of college summed up for you guys. It's been amazing. Like it's weird to think that we only have two terms and a year left at this college and then we're all going to be moving on to something else it's so weird it goes so quickly but 
college is by far, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the best decision I have ever, ever made. Like, I love it so much. It's, I'm actually excited for school now. I'm excited to get to college. I'm excited to learn. It's, it's so good. It's such a change from secondary school where I absolutely hated it and I never wanted to go. But now I, I actually get upset if I have to miss a day. Go to college, it's way better than sixth form. You don't have exams. So that is everything pretty much about my first term of college. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlogmas video. Goodbye.